AI seems to be everywhere these days, from ChatGPT to Dolly to Snapchat's new AI bot. But how exactly does artificial intelligence think intelligently? Do computers think and reason the same way that we do? For instance, look at this blurry picture of a person. While we see this, a computer sees this. How can a computer possibly understand that this jumble of numbers represents a human being? What's going on behind the scenes? Images are just a 2D array of pixel values, each value ranging from 0 to 255, representing the brightness of that given pixel. When we train a machine learning model to interpret photos, say, for facial recognition software, what we're actually doing is training the computer to understand certain trends in the pixel values. Typically, a machine learning model trains using something called a neural network. A neural network is something that we can train to understand our photos. This training occurs in two basic steps, training data versus testing data. Let's go deeper with an example. Let's say, for instance, that we want to train a machine learning model to understand what a corgi looks like. So first, when we're trying to get our neural network to learn what a corgi looks like, we train our model by feeding it tons of images of corgis and saying, these are all pictures of corgis. We also have to give our model lots of pictures of things that aren't corgis in order for the model to understand one thing versus the other. Before we train our neural network, we can feed it an image of a corgi and say, what is this? But if it hasn't been trained properly, it won't know. Notice that this network here, before being trained, thought that our picture of a corgi was ice cream. But then when we actually train our model, it starts to understand what's going on. Once we've trained our model, the next step is to test it to see how well it did. In order to test our model, we'll show it a brand new picture of a corgi that it's never seen before and ask, what is this animal? If our model guesses that it's a corgi most of the time, then we know that it's done a pretty good job of generalizing and learning what a corgi looks like. However, if we feed our model a brand new picture of a corgi and it doesn't classify it as a corgi, there are a few things that can be going on. Either we haven't trained with enough data initially, so that means that our code just hasn't had enough time to learn. Alternatively, a big issue we could run into is something called overfitting. Overfitting means that our model has learned the training data so well that it's unable to generalize to new images that it's never seen before. We can combat overfitting in a few ways. First, you have to make sure to have a lot of training data. And secondly, we can structure our neural network in such a way that it only remembers key details of a corgi, such as eyes, nose, mouth, ears, rather than memorizing every single pixel of every image in our training data. So once we've trained and tested our model, and it looks like it's doing a pretty good job classifying corgis, can we trust it to classify corgis perfectly every single time? The answer is no. If we aren't careful, somebody could try to trick our model using something called an adversarial attack. In an adversarial attack, somebody takes an image that our model would typically correctly classify and makes several tiny imperceptible changes that we couldn't notice with the human eye, but which are enough to push our model over the edge and completely trick it. For instance, this is our original picture of our corgi, and this is our attacked image. We can't tell the difference between these two, but our model can. As you can see, when our original corgi is fed into our model, it's classified as a corgi. However, when our modified corgi is fed into our model, it's classified as a tarantula. Adversarial attacks like this are scary because it means that our neural network isn't robust and people could hack into it using images that we can't catch with our human eyes. Luckily, there are ways of designing our neural networks such that they're powerful against adversarial attacks. When we feed our attacked images into our robust system, the underlying secret image reveals itself, like in this corgi tarantula combo here. This way, any other images that have been tampered with can be caught by the human eye. Computer vision techniques are getting better and better all the time. Computer vision is a subfield of AI that has applications in medical diagnosis, cybersecurity, even architecture. And the rapid development of AI has proven that our models will have applications and implications in other fields that we can't even predict yet. So the next few years should prove to be an extremely exciting time in the world of AI. And I hope that now you have a little bit of a better appreciation for it. Thanks for watching.